Hello, I'm Glenn Thompson, the Brexit Party PPC for South Shields. Our current MP, Emma Lewell Buck, keeps referring people to her voting record when questioned on Brexit. So I'd like to go through her parliamentary voting record for clarity. June 16, she voted for the UK to stay in the EU. June 16, she campaigned in the EU referendum for Remain. June 16, she voted in the EU referendum to remain. September 16, she voted for the UK to remain in the EU. December 16, she voted in favour of Article 50. September 17, she voted against UK law being supreme to EU law. November 17, she voted to retain EU law even if we leave the EU. December 17, she voted to stop the UK withdrawing from the single market. January 18, she voted against the UK leaving the EU. January 19, she voted not to make the EU subject to UK immigration controls. January 19, she voted against the government's EU withdrawal agreement. March 19, she voted against the government's withdrawal agreement. March 19, she voted against leaving the EU withdrawal agreement. March 19, she voted against leaving the EU and the withdrawal agreement. April 19, she voted for a permanent UK customs union with the EU. We know that isn't Brexit. March 19, she voted in Parliament's indicative votes for a permanent UK customs union with the EU. Again, we know that isn't Brexit. March 19, she voted in Parliament's indicative votes against leaving the EU without a deal. April 19, she voted in Parliament's indicative votes for a UK customs union with the EU. Again, we know that isn't Brexit. In the recent European Withdrawal Bill in Parliament, she voted to stop the government having a no-deal option on the table during negotiations, removing our most crucial bargaining chip with the EU. So ironically, she agreed on Article 50, yet every other vote by Emma Lewell Buck has been to thwart us leaving the EU. This is our chance. A vote for the Brexit Party is to honour the EU referendum. Thanks for watching.